Hello, Shorter College Campus. This is Des Sagini, the librarian at the A.W. Young Library. I hope you all are enjoying and keeping safe during all this snow. We are in the third week of Black History Month for February 2021. And once again, we are showcasing four influential figures and briefly explaining their importance. For this week, the persons featured are Alicia Garza, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Scipio Africanus Jones, and Marcus Garvey. Alicia Garza, born January the 4th, 1981. This Oakland, California-based writer and organizer serves as Special Projects Director for the National Domestic Workers Alliance and as Principal at Black Futures Lab. Garza co-founded Black Lives Matter in 2013 in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's killer, George Zimmerman. It began as a hashtag and quickly grew into a national network to fight against anti-Black racism across the country. Uh, Garza logged into social media after the announcement of the Zimmerman verdict, and she was bombarded by defeatist comments like, what did you expect? Or, I knew they would never convict him. These comments all pointed out the same thing. It is treated as acceptable for unarmed black boys and men to be killed without consequence. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, born October the 13th, 1989, the daughter of a Puerto Rican Bronx-born architect. AOC is also what she is called, and she is a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. And she has been so since 2019. She is the youngest woman to ever serve in the U.S. Congress. She graduated cum laude from Boston University in 2011 with BAs in both international relations and economics. She's among the first female members of the Democratic Socialists of America. She advocates a progressive platform that includes Medicare for All, free public college, a federal jobs guarantee, a new Green Deal, and the abolishment of the U.S. immigration and enforcement. Her website is www.ocasiocortez.com. Scipio Africanus Jones, born August the 3rd, 1863, died March the 2nd, 1943. His mother was a black slave and his father was a white doctor. Scipio was an educator, attorney, judge, philanthropist, and politician that helped to integrate the Republican Party at a time when blacks were not allowed to join. He attended both Philander Smith and Shorter Colleges. He is known for being the lawyer that guided the appeals of 12 African Americans sentenced to death after the Elaine massacre or the Elaine race riot of October 1919. According to the Encyclopedia of Arkansas, the Elaine massacre occurred in Phillips County, Arkansas, and was the deadliest racial confrontation in Arkansas history and possibly the bloodiest racial conflict in the history of the United States. It stems from tense racial relations and growing concerns about labor unions, a shooting incident that occurred at a meeting of progressive farmers and household unions that escalated into mob violence on the part of white people in a lane and the surrounding areas. More than 100 African Americans were indicted in the aftermath of the riot, although an estimated 100 to 200 black Americans were killed during the riots along with five whites. No whites were prosecuted by the state. Marcus Garvey, born August the 17th, 1887, in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. He died June the 10th, 1940, in London, England. A charismatic black leader who organized the first important black American nationalist movement from 1919 to 1926, based in New York City's Harlem. He attended elementary school in Jamaica, then moved to the U.S., where, in 1914, he founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, which sought to build, in Africa, a black-governed nation. Garvey spoke of the new Negro, proud of being black. His newspaper, Negro World, told of the exploits of blacks and the splendors of American culture. He taught that blacks would be respected only when they were economically strong. 
and he preached an independent black economy within the framework of white capitalism. To forward these ends, he established the Negroes Factory Corporation and restaurants and grocery stores, laundromats, a hotel, and a printing press. In 1922, he was indicted for mail fraud and went to prison for five years. His movement soon dissipated after this.